The MPI of CPC simply stands for cost per click. This is an amalgamation of your new website traffic and your returning website traffic in one top line metric. This metric is good to understand track and trends inside of the application itself. If CPCs become more expensive in app, it could be that you're actually acquiring more new website traffic that is more expensive and less of your returning users. So a lot of times a CPC movement in app is a signal to us to look at the other two metrics to ensure that that is not um, changing the audience inside of that campaign, or it also could mean that your audience didn't change, but things became more competitive. So CPC fluctuations happen for a myriad of different reasons, warm and cold traffic, competitors, bidding strategies, budget adjustments, etc. So it's a good metric to track in correlation with other metrics to know that is that rise and fall in CPC actually a good or bad thing. Sometimes a rise in CPC is a great thing, which sounds counterintuitive, because it means that if my cold traffic campaigns were a little bit warm, but then became more cold, my CPC would naturally increase, which then means that this campaign is probably going to actually help my NCAC, my cost for acquired first time customer reduce because I'm actually attracting more of the people that I'm trying to tr attract in that campaign. So it's a top line metrics that should only be directly used for triaging your deeper MPIs that we've discussed so far.